The forests of North America are now infamous for mysterious missing persons cases. Whether you believe that's due to natural causes like people just getting lost or confused, or something more sinister like dark rituals, cryptids like Bigfoot or skinwalkers, or even aliens, it does appear as though something is lurking in the woods. And today we're covering an absolutely bizarre set of sightings. Sometime in the early 2000s, Joe Parenti was fishing in the Miskinetong River in New Jersey. As he was waiting for something to bite, he began to feel a painful electric sensation buzz through his skull. As he tried to figure out what this sensation was being caused by, he felt an overwhelming sense of dread wash over him, and his fight or flight instinct kicked in. He quickly whipped around to see what this threat was, and what he saw would change how he felt about the woods forever. When Joe turned around, his gaze immediately fixed upon a roughly seven foot tall creature. It had dark green skin and the prominent insect-like features of a praying mantis. Obviously, this was completely shocking to Joe, and as he stared at its mandibles crunching down on something as it ate, it looked up right into Joe's eyes. Joe would go on to describe this as the worst moment of his life. He said that when the creature locked eyes with him, that buzzing sensation in his skull got so bad he thought he would pass out, and he felt as though the sensation was caused by the creature reading his mind. As Joe started backing away further into the river, this mantis man unfurled wings from his back and then vanished. In 2006, another fisherman would have an encounter with one of these mantis creatures. Paul Jacks was also fishing in the Muskenacon River when he had his encounter, and he would also describe the mantis creature as being between 6 and 7 foot tall. He describes the creature as having a triangular head with large black eyes, just like a praying mantis. He says this mantis person was gangly and knobby and tall, but he also had the sense that its body was extremely powerful. However, he didn't feel threatened by this creature. He actually thought that the creature was like amazed by him. He doesn't describe any telepathy, but he said based on the creature's body language and the way he was looking at him, he thought the creature was really impressed that he was standing in this strong current of the river. And just as he started to kind of freak out and feel weird about it, the creature would vanish. In 2011, an unnamed teenage witness was driving down Newburgh Road in Hackettstown, New Jersey. And this road runs parallel with the Miskinicong River. As he was approaching a bridge, he noticed something strange on the South River Bank. He thought it was a fisherman, and since it was kind of like the middle of the night, he slowed down to make sure he was okay. And then he realized it wasn't a fisherman, or any kind of man. It was this weird, translucent, brown-colored creature, which he said was eight feet tall with long, dangling arms hanging off of it. So what do you think? Could there be some kind of weird mantis men living in the woods? Can they read your mind?